Hey everyone, I am going to give you nine practical tips to becoming a minimalist. So the first tip is to buy used as much as possible. It's kind of a given. Uh, you can find so many things at a thrift store. They even have apps for thrift stores nowadays, like retro, vintage, awesome clothes, ski jackets, dishes, anything you need. Uh, the second tip is when you are buying things, new things, don't buy things you don't love, you don't need, and you can't fit in a backpack. Uh, tip number three, if you are buying things again, then buy multifunctional things that you that serve multiple purposes, um, like a spork or uh, like my day backpack is kind of my all around adventure backpack. It's my hiking backpack, my backcountry ski backpack, and basically my advent like I said, my all around adventure backpack. And uh, no, tip number four is when you are buying new things. Make sure, especially if it's like gear, make sure it's good quality. Uh, and things like even hairbrushes, so that you don't have to keep replacing like plastic things. Try to buy really good quality things that don't break and get damaged and then you're just constantly replacing them, which kind of defeats the whole reason of becoming a minimalist and you're creating more waste actually. Uh, and that's really hard for me because I'm super frugal. Some people call me cheap, but I prefer frugal and I hate spending large sums of money. But sometimes, like I said, it's really important when you're buying, when you need something that needs to be good quality. Tip number five, when you need something, try to be creative about it. Uh, or, you know, what I mean is get creative and make it, build it or repurpose some trash. Hi, Chachi. This is the new boat cat. She's a kitten, actually. She's a little baby. She's black with brown spots. So cute. Hi, Chachi. Say hi. Oh, and oh, she's gone. Bye, Chachi. <laughs> oh, here she is. Um, so yeah, when you need something, try to be creative. We all can do it. And use a simple alternative uh, if you don't want to build or create something. Um, for example, when I needed a water bottle because I kept wasting and losing mine, I used a ragu glass, you know, pasta jars, like, um, doesn't have to be ragu, but I used pasta uh, jars, like pasta sauce jars, and when they broke, I would just use another piece of trash. So that's a perfect example. Tip number six. You gonna say hi again? Oh, she's running away. If you are patient, it will come. So be patient when you need something. If sometimes, if you just, like for example if you need a surfboard and you put yourself in the environment you borrow somebody's for a week you're surfing you're out there you're probably gonna meet somebody that's selling or giving away a board for free and you'll you'll have your surfboard and it wouldn't have cost you a thousand dollars for a brand new one so definitely be patient and sometimes things will come like instruments sports equipments all kinds of things so be patient it will come to you uh, the seventh tip is to ask if you need something. So there's this great thing called social media nowadays. You can put a post up there and say, I'm looking for purple high heels in size nine. And somebody will probably have some purple high heels that they can give to you. Ask around in your friend group, ask around everywhere. And uh, the next tip, the eighth tip, is the, probably the most important of all tips with concerning minimalism in my opinion, and that is don't get attached. So it's kind of a natural tendency for humans to become attached to objects, and it is even more likely when you're a minimalist because you have such a small amount of items, and a lot of them you have more sentimental value attached to those items because you have less. And it's a really hard thing, but try not to get attached because you're gonna have to downsize at some point because as a minimalist, you're constantly downsizing and downsizing again and getting rid of things to keep your pool of items small. So don't get attached to your things because you might have to get rid of it. Uh, the final tip, the ninth thing is when you are downsizing and get rid of getting rid of things is donate them, sell them, don't throw them away that's like against the whole spirit of minimalism. You have to like 
re give back with your items that you don't want anymore so donate them and if you can't donate them for example like clothes that have my clothes that have stains or are ripped or things I use them as rags and you can use them as like sewing material for whatever for patches on your jeans but try to like reuse and give away and sell try to throw away as little as possible and those are the nine tips I hope everyone has a great day and have fun. Happy minimalism. <laughs> Bye.